All right, Chris Groff here from Kruger Middle School, Kruger School of Applied Technologies. We're going to be creating our next app called Paint Pot. It's a painting app. And in our first part, our first lesson, we're going to be setting up the screen and the components. Uh, you want to log in to MIT App Inventor. If you guys remember where to go, ai22.appinventor.mit.edu. All right, so get logged in. You're going to go to Project, Start a New Project, and we're going to name it Paint Pot. And remember, when you name your project, you don't want any spaces. No space in the name. It's all together. Paint Pot. Click OK. And once it comes up here, all right. Let's go ahead and click OK on that. We're going to go under the components section and select screen one. Okay, see right here it says screen one. We can change that. So under title it says screen one. Let's go ahead and change that to paint pot. So that'll be the application's name. And you can see that it changes right there. Um, also, we have an option for an icon and that'll be the icon for the app so when we download it to our phone or our emulator and we're actually going to upload it so let's click on where it says none let's go to upload file choose file and if you're in my class you're going to go to my computer 506 you're going to click on the google app inventor folder and go to paint pot and in there, there is the paint pot icon. And go ahead and open that up and click OK. Now, if you're at home and you don't have an icon, basically this is what it looks like. This is in Photoshop, but you could use any photo editing program. The icon is the width is 29 pixels and the height is 40. So you could create any kind of icon for it, save it as a JPEG or a PNG and then just upload it at that point. If you're in my class and you want to make a custom one, you can do that at the end of the project if you're finished early. Okay, so that's about it for the screen one. Our next move here is we're going to be setting up our buttons for our app. So go ahead and drop in three buttons. And this first one, button one, we're going to rename it let's name it button red and remember same as the project name you don't want any space and we're gonna do two things to it the background color we're gonna change to red and where it says text type in the word red button two we're gonna rename to button green make sure you don't have any spaces background color will be green and then the text go ahead and type in the word green for button three let's go ahead and rename it it'll be button blue click OK background color blue text type in the word blue alright so those are our three colors for our app and I know some of you guys are going to want to add more colors. As soon as you're finished with the app, all of the videos, you can go back and you can do that. But for the beginning here, just start with these three colors. All right, our next move, we're going to go to the arrangements. We're going to add in our layout and then horizontal arrangement. Okay, so let's drag that. We can drag it all the way up to the top here and then release your left mouse button the width for this is going to be under fill parent you want to check fill parent click OK and then the height we're going to set up to be automatic and what you want to do with your buttons you're going to left click and drag them up into the arrangement and the arrangement is useful because it's a good way to organize stuff within your app within your viewer next thing we need to do is get a canvas okay so our canvas let's see
there we go. So under App Inventor 2, it's going to be under the Drawing and Animation section under the palette. So you're going to get a canvas and drag it on there. And our canvas is where we're going to be painting. So let's go ahead and set up the width. I'm going to set up the width to be fill parent and then the height I'm setting up 300 pixels and a neat thing we can do is add a background image to it so I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna upload a file click choose file and the image that I have let me view the thumbnails here I'm gonna choose this background image click OK and all it is basically is a 294 by 270 pixel image that's a PNG or JPEG so if you want to do a plain white picture or if you want to do a different design feel free to do that for your canvas okay last thing we need to do is add one more button so under user interface go ahead and drag a button down underneath that we're going to rename the button. We're going to name it wipe. This is going to be our wipe button so that we can clean our our canvas. And then let's go ahead and rename it. So it'll be button wipe. And remember, no spaces. Click OK. All right. So we have our horizontal arrangement. We've got our red, green, and blue buttons. We've got our canvas that will be used to draw on, and we've got our white button to clean it off. Okay, So once you have done all those things, you are done with part one of the paint pot. And what you want to do next is go to connect, and go ahead and connect to either your emulator or the phone, and then go ahead and start on video two.